cloth. There we go. That's better. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Sorry about that. Oh, boy. The, uh, the internet in the other room is no good whatsoever. So I'm just going to message Turtle now. Um, and we're gonna get we're gonna get straight into this. I think that's the plan anyway. How is everyone? Da, 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 da. I reckon I'll connect to the internet first. I think that's a good idea. Ah, okay. So I thought um I'd start off uh by giving you all a rundown of all of my stats, uh, each Pokemon in depth, uh, especially speed, attack stats, just so that um, just so you can all know. I think Rhett, Rhett would be really happy if I did that, um, and I'll make sure not to blur it out in the YouTube video either. All right, cool. So today we're taking on Turtleback. Uh, he finished top of his group. Uh, I finished bottom, I think, of our group uh, at five and two. So uh, it's going to be a tough match. Um, have a rough plan, a rough idea. <laughs> that message, Rhett, I had to actually allow you to send that because apparently it was offensive. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. Right. Um, yeah, so I was thinking he jumped straight into this, really. Um, <laughs> it should be fun I'm hoping it's going to be a good fun match uh, like I say I have a sort of a rough plan uh, nothing too serious we're just going to try and have a bit of fun with it uh, that's the main that's the main plan your comment did get flagged by the auto moderator yes it did uh, <laughs> that's a few of you here today which is awesome cool alright oh yeah I should probably actually search alright uh, also one sec. Just messaging him now. All right, cool. Potty mouth. I know. I'm not going to swear today. That's my plan. Um, having spent far too long going through the last match, putting in bleeps. From all the bad language that I used, I've decided this time I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna use the bad language. I'm gonna be a good boy today. That's the plan. But yeah, there we are. Oh, right. Well, while we wait for Tailback, um, you guys can answer me a question: Who is entering the Players Cup for? Oh, too late. He's here. I've messaged him already to say good luck and have fun. Um, I got to use my phone for to have his team up, so I can't. Um, uh, I can't like reply to him all the time. Um, I want double battle normal rules, right? Yeah. What I don't want to do is do the battle tower, <laughs> and I'll extend an apology to my brother because all the matches I, uh, that he played, he played through my. Uh, <laughs> if you look at his team here, <laughs> he played it on my Switch, and uh, every time he brought the Slowbro, it was level 36 because I said it to the wrong thing. <laughs> I felt so bad. <laughs> I felt so bad. <laughs> <clears throat> there we go uh, good luck have fun to tell back this should be should be a really good game i know he's a really really good player so um i'm excited to see also carl i did notice the marge badge being used there and it's always appreciated uh so we're actually going to go with a lead i haven't used so far we're going to go with Doug trio and dragonite uh i think it's the plan and we're going to bring blastoids and we're going to bring snorlax that's the rough plan, I think. Um, what did you miss? Not a lot. Uh, I trolled Rhett for a while. He told me that he's going to kill me. And then he got told off by the auto moderator. And I haven't done swear words yet. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> How are you, Wolf? Thanks for coming along, buddy. Uh, you can make a request. I can't promise that it will be uh, adhered to. All right. So the things we're worried about here are... Um, Snorlax being left alongside the yeah this is this is the first round Snorlax being along, left with the Machamp still around obviously because it's just gonna wallop us right so let's see how he leads off Turtleback uh, 
Oh, he's sorry, he's now Gengar and Machamp. Okay, cool. Hey, Rhett. Okay, so, uh, neither of these Pokemon have Protect, uh, which is good, of course. So what I'm actually going to do... I did, yeah, that's true. To be honest, Rhett, I've been thinking about banning you for a while now. Um, I mean, in this scenario, I think I have to go for the Earthquake and the Dual Wing Beat. I, his, his Gengar is sashed, so it won't KO. Um, there is a danger here in doing this. Actually, let me just think about this for a second. Let me just think about this for a second. Because what I, what I don't want to end up doing... What I really, really don't want to end up doing is... Okay, we're going to be smarter than that. What we're going to do is we're going to Rock Slide. We're going to Rock Slide and we're going to Dual Wing Beat the Machamp. If he leaves the Machamp in, then it goes down, presuming I hit. And if he switches it in for the Rhydon, I don't get hit with... I don't trigger the weakness policy. Okay, Rock Slide into both. Very nice. Now we need the um, Gengar Flinches. That's huge. Okay, that's huge, because he could have well have been going for a Will-O-Wisp right there. So that's a massive deal. That's a massive piece of luck on our end. Um, and it puts us in a pretty nice spot, depending on what else he's brought. <clears throat> uh, we'll see. It also breaks the Gengar's Sash. So um, that is really, really nice. Okay, he brings out his Blastoise now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just fire off an Earthquake. Also, looking at that Rock Slide damage to the Gengar, that's... Um, didn't do that much damage. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, you're right. It does have no guard. Um, so it does never miss. That is very true. Uh, okay. Uh, this ice beam. Ice beam. Yeah, because I mean, he could have will with me, right? Which would have been, which would have been bad. Okay. Uh, we're gonna earthquake. We're gonna earthquake. Try and finish off this Gengar, and we're gonna switch into our own Blastoise, so we have a fake out available to us next turn. Uh, there's no need to take damage on the Dragonite here if he's going to go for it. He may just fake out and KO the Dugtrio, and if he does, that's absolutely fine as well. Um, okay, so we do get the Earthquake off. We are going to take damage on our own Blastoise, but not too much, because we're pretty tanky. We do remove the Gengar, uh, which is really, really nice. And we get hit with an Ice Beam into which slot? Uh, into the Dugtrio slot. Uh, we actually, that's really interesting to know. Uh, this Doug Trio survives on 4 HP. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Who is his last Pokemon? It is the Rhydon. Okay. Well, I mean, in this scenario here, uh, there's really no need for us to... Let me just have a think about this for a second. Okay. Yeah, Shiny Rhydon's cool, right? Shiny Rhydon's pretty awesome. Okay, I think we're actually going to Rock Slide. Um, no, we're not. We're going to Protect. We're going to Protect. Uh, what I don't want to do is reveal my final Pokemon. Uh, and let's go for the Scald into the Rhydon, see how it takes this. Uh, so our Protect goes off. Uh, which is very nice. Um, we get the Scald off into the Rhydon slot. Uh, which does pick up a KO. Hi, Rhea! How are you? I haven't seen you in so long. How are you? He gets his school off into our Blastoise. Um, okay. So, there we are. Alrighty. Well, I mean, in this scenario now, there's really no need for us to do anything other than just try and do enough damage to this Blastoise to pick it up, really. Uh, so the Rock Slide comes out. Does a little bit of damage. Whose Blastoise is faster? Ours is faster. We get the Aura Sphere off. Which does a nice chunk as well. Uh, he's going to go for the Ice Beam. Which takes out Biggins. Okay. Which is all mostly fine, right? That's not. It's all mostly fine, so... And at this stage, I mean, we've still got multi-scale intact, so we do we will get attacks off into this uh, into this op opposing Blastoise. Okay, tanky turtle slugfest. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. 
Tanky Turtle Slugfest. A good name for it. Uh, he does have Protect, so he may Protect here to um, to get some Lefties recovery. Yep. Uh, again, I could have probably read into that and gone for a Dragon Dance, but at this stage, I think we're probably okay. Um, because it, I don't think an Ice Beam will KO us with the multi-scale. So I'm pretty confident we will get two Dragon Claws off. And if we don't, we have got Snorlax in the back as well, which I, I really, really am not sure that he can even touch. So we'll see. Um... Also, I want to know how much a Dragon Claw does, so I need to pay kind of quite close attention to this. Okay, so he goes from just over half. Okay, so about like 45%, do you think? Maybe 40 to 45%? Uh, I, that's a good call. They're pretty similar. Um, GG's to Turtleback. Uh, I'm kind of, I think I kind of side with the non-shiny as well a little, a little bit, so yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'll take his lead card for sure. I like them both. Yeah. I think they're both they're both good. I mean, like... Sometimes you get shinies that are just... Not great. Um, but I think Blastoise is okay either way. Um, I'm going to go for the same team again here, I think. Let the battle begin. Alright. So I'm going to go for the same setup again here. I wonder, I wonder what he's going to do this time round. Um, be interested to find out, to be honest. I think he has to bring his Blastoise. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll see. So the, the lead I'm kind of... I think I'm probably most worried about would be Venusaur and Snorlax, or Venusaur and Gengar. I really, really don't want to get put to sleep, ideally. Um... If that does come, I think I maybe have a way around it. Okay, so we're kind of set on the fact that we like the purple skin, but just not the um, <laughs> not the rest of it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna lock that in. He hasn't. Oh, he's just finished. We locked in at literally the same time. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, good luck. Have fun to turtle back again for game two. Uh, game one, that, that uh, rock slide crit at the start really did go in our favour, so, um, you know, it really does, I don't think it, game one says too much, it made a, a lot of difference, I think. Okay, he does go for the Venusaur. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, I don't know how bulky his Venusaur is. If it doesn't have much bulk then there's a chance I KO it even if I am burned here at turn one. But I think this is the play. Again, presuming I'm faster than this Venusaur. I don't know how fast Venusaur can be. I should probably know that, really. Uh, and we also need to land the dual wing beat, right? These are all important things. Um, the other option I could have gone for here would be to have protect the Dragonite. However... That does run the risk of a double up into the. Uh, I think that's a that's a mid roll on the Venusaur there. Um, let's see what he goes for. He goes for a Shadow Ball, okay, which breaks the multi scale. So I think if we land this, uh, if we land this Wing Beat, we're in good shape. Oh, which we do. Brilliant. Okay, that's fantastic. That's really, really, really good. Hey, Finn, thanks for coming, buddy. Ah, it's much appreciated. How are you? All right. Okay, this is a nice spot we're in. What we need to do now is try and uh, capitalize on this and make sure we can we can see this one out. Um, he does go for his Rhydon. Okay, so we know Blastoise can beat Rhydon. Yeah, Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball's good. Happy with Shadow Ball. Um, happy with Shadow Ball over the, uh, over the alternative, that's for sure. Okay, so we're going to Rock Slide uh, because we don't want to trigger a policy here. Uh, yeah, me, I was worried about that too. And we're going to switch the Dragonite out into the Blastoise. Um, because I don't think a Shadow Ball Rock Slide or Shadow Ball Earthquake or Body Press uh, doesn't have... Okay, great. Goes into his own Blastoise. That's fine. I was really... Yeah, I, I mean, the Will-O-Wisp is exactly what I was worried about. Um, 
The the so the calc basically is if I get a high roll on the wing beat burned, I think I'd probably still KO it. <clears throat> okay, we get the rock slide off. It doesn't do very much, but that's not what it's there for. And he goes for his own rock slide. How much we take on the Blastoise? Great, that's fine. Okay, that's really good. Happy with that. Back to the Turts. It's a Turt Fest, baby. So I think my Blastoise, uh, excuse me, I think my uh, Snorlax beats his uh, beats his Blastoise in the end. And so that's kind of what I'm going to play for here. <clears throat> I'm not going to fake out uh, because he can't fake me out. So I'm just going to go for this attack into the Rhydon. Uh, he can protect it, but I don't think his Blastoise has enough damage on me to, to make it relevant. Uh, so we protect with Biggins. And he protects, that's fine. Um, really, really doesn't matter too much at this stage. I think, probably, he goes for the Ice Beam. Uh, so absolutely nothing happens that turn, apart from his Blastoise gets a little bit more recovery. But that's okay. That's not so bad. Royal Purple. So you want a more purple turtle? Um, what do I? How do I play this? I'm. I think I'm just gonna rock slide. I really don't have any reason not to. Uh, and I'm gonna score the ride on again. Um, he may switch the ride on here, but I think, provided I keep on enough offensive pressure, um, and I don't want to take damage on the blast toys. Otherwise, I could have earthquake. Okay, that's fine. Um, really shouldn't matter too much. Uh, this school should pick up the ride on. Uh, yeah, it does. Awesome. Which is fantastic news. And he goes for the ice beam into Duck Trio, I presume. Yep, which will take us out. That's fine. So I think at this stage we're now we are. Yeah, we're in the end game now. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to bring out Snorlax. I don't think I have any reason not to at this point. Um, because if he burns me, that's that's fantastic for me. <laughs> you know, that's great for me if he burns me. Because the facade into the blast door is going to do even more. Uh, so I'm just going to curse once. Uh, there's no protect on the Gengar, so I can Icy Wind. Actually, no, I'm, not, I'm just going to Scald. I'm just going to Scald, just going to Scald. Just make sure we KO the Gengar here. And then I think we're pretty pretty safe. Okay, because for the Shadow Ball, uh, that's going to do absolutely nothing. Yep. Well, that could have been troublesome uh, if that were earlier on in the game. But the Scald will pick up the Gengar, uh, which is really, really good. Uh, Curse Body Disabled Scald, that's fairly annoying. But ultimately is fine. Uh, so his Blastoise goes for a Scald into our Blastoise. Exciting stuff here on Ruby T Pokemon. Uh, we get the Curse off, which I think just about seals up the game, unless we really mess it up from here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. I, you know, I'm not, not displeased with how this has gone, to be perfectly honest with you. Like purple, man, purple. A purple turtle. You know, a purple turtle is a is a pub in the UK. There's a couple of them. They're like fairly famous pubs. Um, yeah, let's just let's go for damage now. Let's try and finish this thing off. Fillmore gets the Aura Sphere off. Uh, we know it does a little chunk, not too much. Uh, his Blastoise goes for Ice Beam, fishing for a freeze. Fair enough. <clears throat> not a lot else can be done at this point. We get the facade off. Yeah. Okay. So another double up. Uh, another double up should be good. Soup's on, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a bit. Um, I think we just curse. Just curse in case he uh, protects. And that way we know we can definitely finish it off. <clears throat> um, he cancels. Okay, great. Well, we move on to the next round. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. Um, really, 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 really pleased with how that went. Um, I'm just going to message him now and say GG. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty nice. Looks like we're going to be moving on to the next round. Which is, uh, yeah, which is really, really good. Really, really pleased with that. And he's already messaged say GG. Uh, yeah, I think... Um, so it looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. 
I love a Lord of the Rings reference. Um, yeah, so uh, to give you a very brief rundown, because that, that uh, of what the kind of plan was there, um, his Gengar couldn't touch Snorlax, right, like at all. So anytime he was going to bring Gengar, which was likely because of the Trick Room, we were always going to be in a position to kind of wall it out. And I also felt that Snorlax could probably deal with his Blastoise or Venusaur as well. Um, because the Bulldoze from Venusaur wasn't doing too much and the special attacks into a, like Snorlax is naturally specially bulky. So I kind of figured that would be okay, which is why Snorlax was there in the back. Um, and yeah, I mean, other than that, it was just a case of making sure we removed the Machamp when it was there and removing the Rhydon because they're both Pokemon that could potentially give Snorlax like trouble. But um, yeah, overall, pretty, a pretty positive Pretty positive match. I'm pretty pretty pleased with how it went. So thank you very, 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 very much for coming to watch. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, what are you guys doing a bit later on? I'm, I was, you know, uh, Gemma was possibly thinking about playing some Zelda, uh, which was really fun last time. I really enjoyed watching her play and sitting with her while she played it. Um, and occasionally taking over when it was uh, when there was an annoying, boring bit to do. Uh, or possibly doing some, some, like, you know, some Nuzlocke or something, whatever. Um... But for now, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna take a break for a little while. I'm gonna go and have some some dinner and stuff. I'm gonna chill out, and then maybe we'll we'll hang out later if you guys want to. So yeah, thanks again for uh, for coming along. And ah, oh, YouTube intro. I didn't do a YouTube intro. Oh. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for coming to the channel. We're going to do a Kanto Classic battle now. There you go. <clears throat> Perfect. Please subscribe and like the video. Perfect. Done like a true pro. Um, yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed myself. Uh, we're on to the quarterfinals. I think our, our opponent is Amelius, uh, Max, who uh, is really, really good. And when we played the last tournament on this Discord, he kicked our ass. So, yeah, hopefully we can do a bit better than we did then. But, yeah, thank you very, very much for coming to watch. And I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.